All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Magic Online. If I can get it up here. Jeez. Jeez. Be prepared. All right. Welcome, everybody, to this beautiful Tuesday night. It's going to be reduxing, redoing, reduxing. I don't know. Whatever that word is in French. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna resurrect Wizards Retort from last night. Super fun. I mean, I had I had a I had a ball. Almost went four and one. Um, well, no, not really. I think both the matches we lost were pretty bad. Um, I was gonna lose pretty badly. I think either way. Uh, I think it was just the way the cards you know the cards fell, and it was just a bad beat. Just what it was. Um, super fun card. Got uh, if nobody watched the if you didn't watch the stream from last night or the video I put up on YouTube from last night, very simple. Uh, it's mainly, mainly wizards. Only have the eight traditional lords, and the rest are merfolk wizards. Master of Waves, Trickster, Harbinger, Adept, two Miss Callers, four Curse Catchers. Uh, they're all wizards. So this is essentially counterspell as long as we control a wizard. So that's going to be really cool. Um, like say if you even have one Merfolk Wizard out and they go to kill it, you can still retort it for two mana. Um, so in that, uh, in that same vein, I decided to go with Kapala and make everything more expensive for your opponent to touch our Merfolks. Uh, our Merfolk, yeah, Merfolks, yeah, yeah, it's not a, not a plural when you say Merfolks, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Getting back on track here. Playing with Kapala. I mean, it's just kind of rare. You don't really see it anymore. People kind of played it a little bit when it first came out as a novelty. And the novelty wore off pretty quickly because of the three mana on the top there. If it was two, it would be played all damn day. Pretty cool. That's a merfolk. A little bit different than, than Kira. So I got two dispels. I got two graph diggers cages. Two relics of progenitus. Two tide binders. One solitary negate, just to kind of pair with the dispel in case I need to get rid of like a planeswalker or something like that, in addition to, you know, removal. And two echoing truths, mainly for tokens and ensnaring bridge and, you know, enchantments that I can't really deal with. And uh, just, you know, any little thing I need to get rid off the board for at least a turn. Master of Waves, Spreading Seas, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty stock otherwise. Gonna play a league, already joined it, and we're gonna have some fun. Um, what's going on, scientist? You know, I, I don't, I don't think there were any instances last night where I had to hold up, uh, a wizard's retort and, you know, because it was full cost or, I, and I never paid for full cost for it either. Um, just about, I think every time I cast it, actually, it was, it was for two mana. So that was, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I always had two blue for deprive, but I also was, you know, behind a turn Sometimes it was okay, you know, sometimes it was okay to, to lose that land, but sometimes it was pretty crucial. Um, and it was also brought to my attention the other night by one of my friends that uh, I had a Boro out and several Mutavault and was sitting there on stream complaining about not being able to get enough blue mana. So, <laughs> if y'all see me complaining about blue mana and having an Aboro and like three Mutavaults out, say something. You know, be like, hey, dummy, that's why that's why we play Aboro. <laughs> Um, this is a pretty terrible hand. I mean, five land and you know, two action cards. It's really not much going on. Uh, tempted for the Aether Vial, but not really. If I had, like, one more creature, I think I'd, I'd want to do it more so. Um, this is one of those times I can go Mutavault into Aether Vial. That'll work. Oh no, there goes our draw power. Uh, all these damn Inquisitions and Thought Seasons. Man, I played like, I think I played like three matches today, uh, just messing around. And I hit uh, Thought Seas Inquisition decks like all day. It was Mardu Pyromancer and then some other damn Mardu deck and then Abzan control or uh, mid range. And I was. Just, I had nothing to do. It was terrible. Norfolk uh, seems to be earning every match that they win these days. Not saying that we have a lot of bad matchups, but 
Her folk is uh, not in the best position right now. Hopefully they don't have a thought seize because that's really gonna suck. Well, this looks like Mardu Pyromancer. Okay, so they just discarded two Blood Moons off of the the Faithless Looting. Interesting. Uh, maybe they have a third one in their hand because I would think Blood Moon's still pretty good against me. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, I'm still going to play my lands out. And hopefully they just regret doing that. But if they, you know, if they did do that, I would imagine they have another Blood Moon. Oh, another Fatal, fatal Push. Fantastic. I mean, I'm not going to just let them hold up a Fatal Push in their hand either. So, I mean, this is probably where they're going to have damn Colgan's Command. And if they have Colgan's Command, it's 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 almost worth uh, quitting. Because I don't even have double blue for the retort right now. I'm not going to activate Mutable because then they can just Colgan's Command the land and the artifact. So at least this way they're going to make me discard a card and, and destroy the artifact. Yep. Oh, they just did two damage to me instead. Okay. That doesn't seem ideal. Like I, I would want, I would want my opponent to discard a card. Got Manamo. Now, I mean, this gets hit by Liliana, both Lilianas, and uh, you know, just all kinds of stuff. But. It's 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 necessary. Hell, I'm so far behind. And I think they have Path to Exile. I, I really can't remember. Yup. What the hell was that? Uh, collective Brutality and they didn't discard any cards? Okay. Well, this is pretty good. So I can show Master of Waves and I can have a wizard on the board and maybe counter something that they play. I, I don't know. Don't really care. Oh, man. That is so poopy I don't want to counter a bolt but you know if if you put the lightning bolt in the art I kind of have to counter it right I mean come on right come on look at that that's a lightning bolt going in and I'm getting hit by the yeah 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 I'm gonna make you two for one that yeah go for it that dread is useless anyway because you know I got a master of waves left so some people might want me to bluff and keep the land in my hand, but I'm going to activate this damn Muta Vault and bring three damage at them. I don't care if they have a Path to Exile or something else in their hand. They only got one card left in their hand, so, I mean... If they have something, they got something. I mean, it's just what it is. Alright, fine. That was starting to get me a little hot there, man. I mean, hell, they got what? three, four, five removal spells all in the first, uh, you know, few turns. That's, and then I've got what, three, six, seven lands out of 14 cards. <laughs> oh man, this is terrible. All right, bringing five at you. Come on. You ain't got nothing. Don't be like you dry. You, you got another damn fatal push. Wow. Wow. That is incredible. All right. Whoever's out there talking about me bluffing lands, there you go. I bluffed a damn land for you. Next time you're paying for it. Oh, I'm gonna bluff this other land too, just to make them happy, because this is a terrible game. <laughs> Holy jeez! I mean, it's almost like I put 30 lands in this deck. What happened? I thought I checked it. 
All right. Yeah, yeah. You got, you got, you still got them. Oh no, you don't have the lingering souls in the graveyard. Oh, Bedlam Rattler. Yeah, yeah. That seems, that's fair. You're gonna say, oh, another land? <laughs> I mean, I can get thirsty for two. It's pro red, so screw them. <coughs> I can trickster them. Yep, Lingering Souls gets it done, man. That is a pretty sweet damn card right there. Try and hold you down for a turn. So you don't kill me quite yet. <laughs> so you don't kill me quite yet. Uh, gonna take a bunch of mana, or put a bunch of damage here, and then I go to what seven? No, nine. That's right. It's only three. So we got seven counter or seven tokens. Okay. Well, all right. I mean, let's let's see if this works. They got one card in their hand. Oh man, they got a bolt for the trickster. Son of a bitch. I mean, I can't complain because they are digging through their deck with, with Faceless Looting, so. I mean, I, you know. Cannot, cannot complain too much there. Now, if I can get, like, Spreading Seas. I don't think they lost a card there, Scientist. I don't think they uh, had a card to go to the graveyard, so they didn't have Revolt. That's why they didn't kill the Master of Waves. Um... At least from play. Uh, I think they discarded something. Well, that's another Bedlam Reveler. Alright, you revel in your Bedlam there, Buddy Row. You go ahead and do it. Basically, it's a it's an Ancestral Recall when you don't even have a hand, which is amazing. It is amazing. I mean, the only way I think I can even do anything is, like, I don't think there's really much anything I can do. Yeah, well, that doesn't really help. Another one of you motherfuckers does not help very much, man. Eight, nine lands out of, out of 18 cards. 50% lands. Love it. Love it. All right, so, Kapala, I choose you. <laughs> Dispel, you're in. Negate, you're in. Tidebinder, mm, I don't know, and I'm kind of wary on keeping Master of Waves in. Um, hmm. I don't know. Usually I take Master of Waves out when I see Path to Exile decks. I, obviously I didn't see Path to Exile there in that game, but I know it's there. That's like the only removal spell we didn't see. You saw Dreadbore, Colgan's Command, uh, you know, Fatal Push, uh, all kinds of stuff there. I think Retort's still good. Um, I think maybe I can cut one Retort for the Negate. Bringing in the Kapawas. I think the missed callers could maybe go because they're not really sneaking anything in. Uh, spreading seas, I feel like, is pretty. Yeah, you pretty much have to have that. Huh. Um, I think one master can go, and then we're down to one last card. Maybe a vial because you know we're not gonna. They're, they're going to have a lot of removal for it. They're going to probably have a Braid and Cole against Command. Among other things that I may not be aware of. Um, I think I'm going to take a Vial out. I want to keep as many as I can. You know, I, I, Tidebinder's probably not really necessary. Master Waves, I can cut one, and the Mist Callers are fine to go out. So, 27 is still fine, I think. Yeah, I only got 20 land in there. I felt like I had 50. <laughs> Felt like I had 50 damn lands in there. I, I didn't even draw very many extra cards. Uh, you know, 
That was just a bad game. Drew a lot of bad cards. And they're named Island. And, of course, you know, that's all I want right now in this hand. Uh huh. I'm not going to be a ballsy because I lost the last game so badly. Damn, man. Come on. Really? Moto. Come on, man. I pay you a lot of money. Okay, I was going to say. I was going to say. Pay you a lot of money to do what I want for me. Huh. I was about to be a little hot about that one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Wizards Retort, I, I can't, I still can't cast that next turn, but that's fine. At least I don't get Thoughtseize this turn. And I get Thoughtseize next turn. Um, I can play Trickster at the end of next turn. That's, that's always good. Have something to do. Um, next turn... I don't see like brutality or anything that like that being played. Obviously, um, hmm. I would imagine you you know just Marty Pyro. Oh, is it not Marty Pyro? Is it uh, Young Pyromancer and uh, maybe actually play Thought Seize or something. You know, like a discard spell now, uh, or or just nothing, or just nothing. I don't know if if Marty Pyromancer would bring in. I don't think they would bring in Stony Silence against me. Maybe unless they thought I was bringing in a lot of, uh... What the hell is this? Oh, so you, you actually are going to play this? Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't think they would need to bring in Stony Silence unless I had some graveyard hate that they thought I was bringing in. Oh, I forgot to play the Trickster at the end. Oh, well. Um... Yeah, I'd rather just play Trickster at the end again. Wish I got a land there. That would have been nice. Like like, like a blue land. Like an Aboro. Looking for an Aboro. That's a Liliana of the Veil. Vale. That card is damn scary. Yuck. Alright, well, Retort's probably going to be gone. Because that card, that's, that's the main card I'd want to counter with Retort. Uh, I can do some damage enough to Lily to to make him not be able to use the sacrifice ability. I think that's a better play to do. I mean, maybe Adept would have been better, but I feel like getting him down to one and not being able to use that minus ability is better. Yep. Come on now. Wow. Colgan's Command is so strong. Three mana to kill one of my creatures and make me discard a card. And then they make me discard another card. This is out of control. I normally don't lose like this badly to Mardu Pyromancer. I mean, yeah, I lose to it, but not... Not like this. This is this is borderline embarrassing. I mean, yeah, like I'm killing the Lily here, but <laughs> dollars to donuts, they've got another one in their hand. Guaranteed they have another one in their hand. Oh, just another one of those. That's that's fine. Yeah. Just totally wrecked me, buddy. Good lord. That card... There, There is a reason why this card is worth so much money right now. I, I, fuck this card. That card just wrecks me. It's, I feel like I'm almost like in... like it, I don't really play EDH very often, so I haven't like updated my deck in years, you know? I've got a mono green druids deck. That I've been, you know, that I love a lot. And, you know, EDH has just been, has just outpaced my deck. 
over the past few years with all these commander sets and all this stuff. I, I just can't even keep up. It's it's all competitive and you know all this each player stuff and and just ab just absurd abilities that you know all these cards that I have from Mirage and all that that I'm playing in Mono Green Druids are, are just can't match up to it. Um, it's intense. And that's what I feel like when I'm playing with Merfolk these days in, in Modern. I'm just I'm just playing with a kind of antiquated deck. And Wizards Retort also isn't also isn't the best card. I mean, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and quit. That's that's a mental health kind of thing. Cause hell, <laughs> I'm gonna be drawing off the top of my library and losing a card every turn, and they're gonna be hitting me for you know three and then six and then eight and then twenty. Yeah, you know, it's just. We're, we're going to move right along with our lives. We're going to act like that didn't happen. We're 0-0. and We're moving on. Second match. First match. Yeah, we didn't have... That didn't just happen. Right, right, right. Okay. See, I'm, I'm, I'm not good with it. Ah, damn. That was terrible. <laughs> anybody in chat, uh, you know, other than scientists, I know scientists are more than welcome to talk, uh, but anybody else, you're certainly welcome to join the chat. We don't bite hard. All right. And there's uh, sure. Just hoping we don't play against another damn Mardo Pyromancer deck tonight. Because holy jeez. I mean, the only thing that, that was positive about that match is that it, it went really quickly. Simeon Spirit Guide Renegade Map. Oh boy. Is this that mono red Charbelter deck? Oh boy. Boy, I believe I believe that this is it, because I play this I play that card in mono green Charbelter with with seven forests, but I've heard of a six mountain Goblin Charbelter deck that because uh, with Charbelter if you reveal the cards uh, you know if it's a mountain it uh, you don't have to reveal ten cards because it does double the damage if you reveal a mountain. Um. Although I am not aware of what's going on here. Infernal Purge for some mana. Metamorphose for some more mana. <laughs> Metamorphose for some more mana. Drawing a card. Alright, is this a, like a mono red storm deck? Charbelcher. Okay, yeah, it is Charbelcher. Right on. <laughs> right on. That is... That is so funny that I actually knew what this was. Ornithopter. Ornithopter and Metamorphose and Infernal Purge. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Lotus Bloom, huh? Okay. And a Renegade map. Yeah. <laughs> I have, this is popping me so hard I think this is so funny I never play against Charmelger decks especially something as wonky as this this is just great See, now, in my mono green deck, I have some, you know, fog effects, but I don't know if they have any fog effects or anything like that.
I just got belched. Whatever, man. I'm, you know, I can't hate on this. That is funny as hell. They revealed 21 cards. I mean, they didn't have, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, boy. Getting all the wrecks tonight. Uh, I think spreading seeds is pretty useless here. I think maybe Dispel can go in. They seem to have a lot of uh, fast mana. Echoing truth. Yeah, we only make fun of tree folk players, man, just because they're they're the shittier folk. We're we're the best folk. I think echoing truth might be good because it can bounce the char belcher if I need to. So maybe I can cut one of these and one of these because it'll be pretty late. Maybe cut a vial and bring the master back in. I'm fine with that. Because I feel like, like you know, if I had just countered, like, their one of their metamorphoses, they would have been kind of shut down. And especially if I had countered that Infernal Purge, which might actually be a sorcery. Two retorts, an Echoing Truth, and a Vial with one creature. All right, let's fire it up. I mean, you know, whatever. I'm more than happy to. So I'll just play this here Lord and make it right going on. Yeah, I got the Lotus Puddle, or Lotus Bloom, not Lotus Puddle. Char Belcher or okay right on getting a whole bunch of goblins Jesus well then glad I got Echoing Truth I totally forgot they had to empty the warrants I am really glad I have Echoing Truth now um Yeah, I guess I should go ahead and bounce the tokens now so I can at least attack for some power. <laughs> Got him. Got him.
I mean, they got one card left in their hand, so that was obviously their, their secondary way to win. Yep. I'll probably keep it at two. I don't have any three drops. I've only got Master, so... Got two counter spells now, and we're just gonna bring the heat. Just hope that this works. <laughs> I mean, I've basically got cancels in my hand at this point. Um, so, scientist, this is actually going to be one of your your instances that you were asking me about just a second ago. And honestly, it doesn't feel bad at all. It really doesn't. I, I'm going to let them play the Lotus Bloom. I could have countered that, but I'm going to let them play, like, sacrifice it and, you know, uh, do all that good stuff. Uh, do I want to counter this? Nah, I'll let him draw a card. See, then they can sack the bloom and maybe even just play Charbelter or get more mana. And that is what I'm going to counter, Buddy Row. Boop, 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 boop. Bye bye. That's different. Couldn't have done that with my normal uh, counter package because I don't have very many things that could counter that a lot of times. I just have like negate and maybe spell pierce. Spell pierce would have done it there because they only had one mana left. So I guess I would have been somewhat prepared. A dispel, huh? I mean, I guess that's alright. If they go to try and make big mana again, that's... I'm just gonna, you know, dispel the first instant that comes out. And they'll be stuck. That's why this deck is just not competitive normally. It just... It doesn't really have a way out if your opponent interacts with you. And I just barely interacted with them and they're screwed. <laughs> Alright, let's get a Spreading Seas. Oh wait, did I cut Spreading Seas? Yeah, I did. Damn. Alright, um, I'm just gonna attack here. Maybe they'll triple block the Memnites on one of the Lords, and I'll just vial in the other Lord, and I'll go to 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, they don't want to, they don't want to block with all their creatures, but they're gonna have to. Getting lucky here with the lords. Getting that lord luck right here, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sit down, creatures. Sit down. All right. Well, trying to catch up here. Going one and one. Going into the third game. Holy jeez. <laughs> Holy jeez. All right. So they don't really have any red creatures. Spreading Seas is going to be a little better than I thought it would be. Retort's pretty good. I think maybe just like one one of the miscallers can come out. Uh... Uh, maybe both of them and bring in the retorts, the fourth retort. I don't know. I don't know. Um, they didn't really have any creatures that I cared about. <laughs> At least not to dismember or tidebinder. I would have think that they have some kind of red spell, maybe, that pumps all their creatures, but maybe not. Because um, they have all those, you know, Memnites and Ornithopters and stuff. Maybe they get stuck with all that on the board and uh, have to, you know, do some kind of, I don't know, Reckless Assault. Is that one of the cards? I don't know. There's some cards that, you know, red creatures, red cards that pump all creatures plus one plus O or something. 
Maybe signal pest. I don't know. Go the affinity route. Three creatures. All interruption, but only against other creatures. They mold a six on the play. So I think that's worth keeping. They're going to five. Land. All right. So we got two retorts. Uh oh. They're going bonkers with it. You're scaring me. Turn one char belcher. What the hell? Turn two char belcher. Oh, that's so damn scary. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce this. I don't like seeing that. Hopefully they just can't count can't cast it and I can just counter it when they can cast it. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to this and play Trickster at the end. And if they play anything of substance, I'll counter it. Because they are at four cards. I do need to start thinking about that I got three left now but still next turn they'll have four uh, land would be crucial okay that's fine that's fine all right um well I can play the curse catcher and still retort will still only cost two so that's fine because they're both wizards we can take this a little slower than normal, you know. I don't really want to, but I feel like I kind of have to. I can't just jam a lord out there, you know. I, I feel like I need to kind of see if they can go off, and, and if they do start going off, then I need to, you know, start paying more attention. This is game three. Man, Amorphos, huh? Um, how about you pay one more for that? Alright. Another trickster, huh? That works for me. I'll hold up and I'll play... <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. Um... I will be playing Trickster at the end of their turn. And then uh, hopefully I can get a land here and um, play a Lord and hold up for Retort. That would be ideal. Or just another Trickster. I mean, <laughs> I am not complaining about these Tricksters. Pretty consistent damage here. Alright, alright. Moving right along. Here we go. So they got five cards in their hand. They're definitely building up some kind of storm. Uh, I don't really want to play Lord here. I feel like I just want to cut him in half to six. And hold up for a counter spell. I think at, at this point, it's just, it's just more... Um, efficient to do that. This deck can so just go off with two mana and just just go bonkers and, and wreck me. Did you notice how I was at 20 and then I ended up at negative, what, 26 or whatever it was last that first game? <laughs> that was insane. Okay. Got pretty lucky there. They, you know, I, I had Echoing Truth both games for them and that, that seemed to work for both Charbelcher and uh, Empty the Warrens. That was rough. <laughs> but I needed it so bad. So bad needed that win. Man, we are moving here. Tuesday night is hot. Running hot. 9.45 in the evening time. Ooh, 
I don't know. I mean, it's pretty good. Of course, another blue land would be nice, but not sure what's gonna go on here. Breeding pool. Breeding pool means infect with the. Oh no. This traditionally, this used to be one of the worst matchups for, for Merfolk. I, I used to hate playing against Infect. But you don't really see it as often anymore, and I think it's still very threatening. Might of Old Croja, huh? Well, I'm going to make you pay one more for that just so you can't pump it again. I guess maybe you have mutagenic growth. I don't know. I could have blocked the elf, yeah, but I feel like they were going to give it like a rancor or something and just trample through real hard, and that would have been real bad. Yeah, I guess in the end I probably would have only taken four. No, it would be plus two, so it would be seven, so I would have been, I would have taken six, in fact, uh, if I had done that. If I had gone that route... Now, in my memory, Master of Waves is pretty decent against Infect because it creates a lot of blockers. Um, yeah. That's the only thing I remember being good about that. Of course, I'll oh, see, there's the Rancor. Um, of course, if they have, like, the flying creature or the unblockable creature, you know, SOL. I'm going to try and kill the creature here. I don't know if they have some kind of pump spell, but... You know, they were going to win if they did anyway. Jeez, two mutagenic growths, huh? Seems good. That's the end of that game. Jeez. Is this going to be the second pincushion league? Uh-oh. Not trying to go down to that status. Tide binders, negates, dispels, echoing truths all seem pretty decent. Dismembers are pretty damn good. All that all that stuff. Alright, we're gonna take out all the all the fun stuff. We're gonna take out the retorts. We're gonna take out the miscallers. Harbingers can probably go out, and I think one master ways can be cut. Um Maybe cut one vial and bring a harbinger back in just in case. I think 26 is a good good number for this. Okay. Just checking to see what's going on here. All right. Why do I have notifications on here? What is this? Oh, somebody left a message on one of my videos. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, all right. Well, that seems like a that seems like a pretty good one. Okay. Just hoping they don't have the Ink Moth Nexus or the Blighted. Is it Blighted Agent? That's a noble hierarch. Oh, this Pendlehaven is going bye bye. Bye bye. Now they can still marginally use that card. Obviously, they can play the agent. They can play that other blue card they use that makes their creature unblockable. It has retrace, I think, or rebound. Um, uh, can't remember it. I think it gets plus one, plus zero, oh, and uh, and unblockable until end of turn. It's hella good. Look at them. They just get their lands and everything. Well, they had a noble, but still. 
I, I still think I've got a pretty strong hand here. I think I'm doing all right. Shaper Sanctuary. Shaper Sanctuary, huh? Wow, you only really see that in, in Merfolk also, in the blue-green version. Shaper's Sanctuary, huh? Well, I'm going to have to let you draw a card, because I'm going to tap that thing down. Because I am not, I said I am not, going to let this Glistener Elf kill me again. Without a fight. Alright. Bringing you one damage with my awesome Shadow Moor card. Alright, here we go, here we go. Oh no! No! Why do you have to have good cards in your deck? You're not allowed! This is a competitive, or not a competitive league, but it's a competitive tournament. You're not allowed to have good cards. This is why people play limited. Because it's just too damn powerful. I just don't get it. Ugh. Normally I would have attacked with the Tide Binder, but I feel like they're saucy enough to activate their Nexus and pump it. Oh, great. Yet another Nexus. Seems like a good deck. Uh, hopefully they just like tap down to one mana and I can bring in this Curse Catcher and counter whatever they're going to play. But they're going to play this. Ranker's going to fall off at the end of turn, but it'll come back. So I guess they don't really care. Wow, this is a lot of infect, and they're gonna pump it too. Hmm. This is uh, annoying. All right, want to take four? Infect to me is just one of the one of the most unfair and worst mechanics ever made in Magic. Them and the and the original three Eldrazi's, um, and then of course the original Affinity. Those are the three just pillars of the worst mechanics in Magic you could have ever thought of for people to abuse. It, it's out of control. All right, so I got I got Trickster. I got you know I got a lot of stuff to mess around with here. I feel like I've got enough to bring in a lord and violin whatever I need to do the damage and then dispel one of their one of their spells and um, keep the pressure on them that way because this is what this is 10 damage down to five okay and if they have two protection spells, yeah, because they'll they'll play Rancor most likely. Uh, they have another Pendlehaven, of course. They'll keep that one. Yep, that sucks. That kind of sets me back a little bit. Maybe not, because they might they might double animate here. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so if they have, if they have like, two protection spells, then they're good. But otherwise, I'm gonna tap their stuff down. Uh, I'm not gonna use Trickster, I don't think. I think I'm gonna use Harbinger. Because they already played the, the Pendlehaven. Um... Yeah, I think it's time. They're gonna... <laughs> they're like, they're not even letting me vile in the creature first. 
That's fine. I'll counter it. They have two protection spells. That is nuts. Alright, well, I'm going to counter it this way, too. Oh, boy. Well, that was a little bit of a counter war. Kind of. Can harbinger their guy back to their hand. Sure, draw a card. Totally forgot that was there, but I'm gonna let you take that back there to your hand. So now you're gonna have five cards in your hand after Rancor comes back. And I think this is it. Alright, cool. Alright, we handled the old infect deck there. Hey, what's up, fish cast? What is up, man? Good to see you. Yeah, that, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good little volley there. Really weird that they, uh, waited. They didn't even wait. Uh, <laughs> they, they didn't wait at all for me to, to vial my creature, and I activated the vial, and in response to activating the vial, they played the Blossoming Defense, which is, I don't know, that's a little weird. Uh, I liked uh, I liked Harbinger a lot there. That was that was pretty solid. Dispel was terrific. Cat, curse catchers were terrific. Retorts are a little slow still. I feel like, especially against this kind of deck. Um, I'm okay with taking out an Echo and Truth. Oh boy, like I said, merfolk's got to earn their matches these days. We got to earn this one, folks. We got to earn it. They mowed the six on the play. I'll take it. Ooh, they snap kept that one. That must be a real good six. I got a pretty decent seven, so I, you know, I'm, I'm happy enough with it. Shaper, sh sh I keep. I I don't think I can say that card five times fast. Shaper Sanctuary, Shaper Sanctuary. It just sounded like muck after a while there. A Glistener Elf, huh? And a land, and a Shaper Sanctuary. Wowza. Wowza, I say. Um, I don't even really want to take the chance, honestly. I don't even want to mess with it. Rather than just go ahead and draw a card, get rid of that stupid card, maybe it would have been better to hit the land and waited for them to attack. I don't like it because doubtful that they would do that. At least this early, even if they did have a third land. They probably would have just gone ham and, you know, tried to cast all their spells right then and there. And just make it, you know, eight or ten or whatever. Blighted agent. Yuck. That is not the guy I was looking for. Ugh. Really regretting that dismember now. Yes, we are. Um, do I care about what they're doing next turn? Most likely, yes. So, I'm not even going to attack. I'm not going to be saucy or weird and crazy. Just going to just gonna let them do their thing and and if it works it works you know but got a little bit of money on it saying that it's not gonna work got a little money on it saying it may not work the first time you try it oh and this guy right here too 
Oh, uh, but they got this guy. This art sucks compared to the original art. Some of the newer arts I really like. Uh, like the Ancestral Visions card and the new Cryptic. Those are those are nice arts. And uh, what's Horizon Canopy especially. Oh, man. I love that card. Alright, getting to the end of the turn here, and really nothing I can do. So they got three cards in their hand, but I'd imagine they have all kinds of spells. They're not going to do anything, or as much, when I have a bunch of untapped mana, though, so... I guess that's good. I'm going to try and Harbinger their guy, because I can't... I mean, I could, but it would cost four mana, and I feel like I could get maybe a little more pressure in. Uh, activating Mutavault. Shaper Sanctuary is a great addition for Infect. That is a very strong addition for Infect. A blossoming defense, huh? Alright. Do you have two of them again? Because that's really going to suck. Jesus, they got two of them again. Well, they got the vines. Ah, oh, that's just a feel bad. At least they got rid of two of their spells. That's fine. I guess that's all right. That bat, rat bastard. I'm gonna have to get him. I'm gonna have to get him. We're gonna get him next time. What? Oh, they played a forest. Looked like they played the Pendlehaven. I was like, what? I just I just talked about that last turn. Alright, uh I guess they may not well shit, they do have spells. Gosh. Might of old Crozia, so they're attacking for six infect that I just can't even touch. I go to eight infect. Do they have a spell too? Oh my god. Oh, they use the land. Okay, so I go to nine. Jeez. Well, but eat, but eat, but eat. That's all, folks. Can't do anything about this damn card. I dismembered the elf when I. I mean, ah, shit. That is just terrible. I can bring out master and and lord and attack for you know five. I ain't gonna do shit. Oh, it's so disheartening to lose to Infect like that. Yeah, I mean, they wasted the spell, Scientist. I, I agree with you, man, but, you know... Obviously, they had a bunch more. I, I don't know what to say. So, when I joined this league, uh, right before 9 o'clock, it was... There were four, 1,480 some players. So just since I've joined, since just since we've started this league uh, a little bit over an hour ago, 15 people have joined the leagues. That is, that's pretty cool. I mean, maybe that's not a lot of people to to some, but to me, that's a that's a considerable amount in like an hour. You know. Well. Four land hand, not the worst. Got a little bit of action here. I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Arid Mesa usually screams burn, but I'm hoping it's burn over fucking Mardu Pyromancer, I'll tell you that much. Alright. I, I kinda I'm I'm glad it's burn. Hell, they still might beat me in four turns, but I won't feel as bad about it. Mardu Pyromancer just it's like going to jail. They just they just dehumanize you. They just take every every given right that you have, every liberty you feel like you deserve, and then they just they strip you down and they just take you for a ride. And then they just leave you in a heap. Burn just burn just hits you in the face eight times and says, Alright, I'm done with you. 
I'm done with you. Speaking of which, two Ava Spikes in turn two, Swiss Spear for three. I'm at 10 on turn two. Not being able to do anything. Welcome to Merfolk. Where the deck looks great, but the performance is not. Now granted, I'm not a five-star Merfolk player by any means, but I think I, I think I know how to play Merfolk better than the average bear. And uh, we're getting we're getting pretty set far behind here. Not really digging it. Oh yeah, third land and burn, no problem, no problem. It's not like that's a statistical anomaly. <laughs> it's not like that's an anomaly at all. Five, so 15 damage in three turns. I used to think Swift Spear sucked. I refused to play it in Legacy. I've never really played Modern Burn, but I refused to play it in Legacy until I just saw the power of it, and it just, it is out of control. It's because of the butt, man. If it goes up, it goes up to a 2-3 and a 3-4 and a 4-5. It's just, it, it's out of touch. Master of Waves hopefully will, will calm things down, but I don't know. Fish cast, you back? You back yet, Fish cast? You back? You back just in time to get my ass kicked. Watch me get my ass kicked by burn. That's what you back in time for. Jesus Christ, dude. So two bolts, two office spikes, a lightning helix, and a damn Swiss spear. That's it. That's it. Didn't even need to attack. Holy jeez. I think they should draw a better hand next game. Uh, you know, that's what I suggest. That's what I suggest. So, I didn't even see the retorts, but they're obviously going to slow me down in this game. We're going to cut them down to the dispels and the negates. Uh, or the one negate. Actually, I'll cut the miscallers and bring in one retort. Because I think that's fine. Spreading seas are pretty crucial. Harbingers and tricksters and tide binders are all good. Vials... I lost the first game. A lot of times I like to sideboard the vials out game two. Um, but that's not. That's a non-issue right now. We're going to be on the play and we're going to want them to our vials. But we didn't get them. What are we going to do? Mold a five until we get one? No. No. This is actually a pretty decent hand. Hey now, not that one. Wait, I must have clicked in the margin there. That's weird. <laughs> Alright. Burn me, buddy. Burn me. That's the beautiful thing about it, because most people play 1-1 one, one on turn 1. Unless you're burned. Uh, you can play this damn Swiss Spear and still attack, even though you don't have anything. That's just nuts, so Van Samson. Okay, there's a Master Waves. I'm okay with that. I'd much rather, you know, hit a non-basic, but, you know, I, I, it's the only thing I can do. I could Harbinger their, their thing, but that's only gonna, you know, cost them one more mana. That's really not a big deal to me. Maybe it would be. I guess it could be if uh, if they didn't get another land or you know something like that. But yeah, I knew they had another land at the very least. And a lava spike it is. Yep, that dude Arena's coming at me for two. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, this turn is going to... I'm going to Harbinger it this turn. 
Because then I can still hold up for Dispel. I definitely should have played Mute Vault there, but totally forgot I had it. Oh, no, never mind. That's right. I, I'm doing that for Dispel. Yeah. I was like mid-sentence and correcting myself with a, with an issue that didn't matter. So next turn, we'll play Mute Vault and uh, Master of Waves and hold up for Dispel next turn. Because I would imagine they got a third land. I mean, if 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 last game is any indication as to what they're going to do this game, they're going to get a third land. Yeah, no shit, man. No shit, Fishcast. I tell you, man. I'm just I just get salty sometimes, especially when, I, when I'm you know set up to go one and three after this match if I if I get wrecked here and lose 14 life in, in this game I'll be one and three and it just it just doesn't feel good retort felt really good last night um I don't know I don't know if it's just bad draws bad beats bad attitude bad cards I don't know <laughs> wait a second deja vu on that swift spear all right all right I like the Mute of Vault. I like the Spreading Seas. They missed the land again there. So I am more than happy to play that. Um, I'm fine to play Lord here. Because they're only going to have one useful mana if they do play something. A lot of times they don't have something that costs like one in a colorless unless it's like skull crack or something like you know searing blood searing blaze you know boros charm target's command you know the destructive revelry all that stuff you know no, no colorless mana so um and you know i don't want a great revel um all of those just double red green red white red they require a lot of attention yeah, this, this burn deck is really high maintenance compared to Legacy Burn. But it's it's also a lot better in the meta than Legacy Burn is in Legacy Meta. Oh, the Master needs to come out for sure, man. I, I feel like I needed to cut their resources for sure. Yeah, because see, that just, that just ends the game. Master probably would have done the same thing, but they could have had... Um, Pat the Exile. And just gotten rid of it there. So trying to trying to keep it going. Dismember's terrible. Truth is terrible. Retort not so good right now against them. Kapala. They're not really targeting me my creatures often. Graveyard, no. Miss Caller, no, so we're good. Okay. Still got twenty eight main. Still got what, two, three, four counter spells and curse catchers, so Kinda eight counter spells. Got eight removal. What is this? Okay. Um. Got eight uh, tempo cards to mess with creatures. Two harbingers, two tide binders, four tricksters. I'm happy with it right now. Yeah, never can be too sure there, bud. Never can be too sure if I'm good. I just like to like to audibly make sure. Especially because I, I don't know what else to talk about while I'm sitting here waiting. While the burn opponent is like, hmm, how can I beat them in three turns again? That seemed to work. How can I do that again? <laughs> yeah, you know why it worked? Because it works on every deck if you beat them in three turns. Jesus. It's called Vintage. Sure. Seems alright. Seems alright. You gonna, you gonna, yeah? You gonna do it? You did it. Yep, you did it. Aw, boo. Don't even know what that is. That is garbage. What is that card? That card is terrible. 
The Zendikar art is, is pretty much the only accepted art. Ah, oh, that's awful. I, I hate the promo one even worse. The original is the best, man. It's just a it's a scared little goblin trying to lead the way with a lantern on top of its head. You know, carrying the lantern on top of its head like an idiot. I, I think that is one of the best arts of all of magic. Next to Goblin Pile Driver, next to Grim Lava Mancer. Uh, I've always loved the original Birds of Paradise and Fast Bond. I have them framed behind me on my wall. Ah, oh, Goblin Guide. And it's still beating my ass just out of principle, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Curse Catcher on top. Okay. Uh, well. I'd rather just take the damage here and play maybe play Trickster next turn. And maybe like be able to block I don't know if prowess if they lose the prowess pump. So if they play spells and they already get the pump, do they lose the pump if I if I play trickster? That's interesting. I don't think so. I think they are already big. Unless I like play it during their upkeep. Yeah, if I play it during their upkeep, then I can tap it down. And they don't get all big. <laughs> you ain't got no Blossom in defense, because you're not Infect. <laughs> okay. Alright. That makes me feel a little better. Ah, oh, got that fabled third land. Why you gotta do that, man? Why you gotta be like that? Lava spike. All right, all right. Going to twelve. Don't know if they're gonna bring the guide at me. Well, let's see what we get on the lottery. Master of Waves coming up next, huh? Well, I already got one in my hand, but I'd much I'd much rather just trade here. Or if you want to bolt it or something, I'm fine with that. Just don't searing blaze me, bro. Well, I guess I could have countered that, yeah. Uh, well, I'll play Adept and show him... Uh, Master of Waves that they know that I already have. And then they got they'll have four cards at, during their turn. So I've got at least one counter. Come on now, come on. You don't want to do anything. Nah, you don't want to do anything. Yeah, that's right. That's a smart burn player. Can't win with burn spells unless you have them actually, you know, go through. What is it called? Resolve. I'm not a counter spell player normally, so I don't, I don't, I don't use that word in my vocabulary. Lava spike, it is. Getting all these damn sorceries that I can't touch. This is bad news. You got a rift bolt too? You can just dangle over my head. I kind of need to block this as much as I don't want to. I, I don't want to go much further. 
And if I if I can fight it, I will. You know, I, I wish I could have traded there, but what can you do? Whoa, now. So, uh, I mean, Master of Waves would only get me two devotion at this moment. So if I play Curse Catcher and Lord, I can still hold up for Dispel and have two Curse Catchers. But also, alternatively, if I play... Okay, so they're going to go for a Searing Blaze here, I think. They're going to go for a Skull Crack, huh? This doesn't make a lot, lot of sense, but... Okay. I mean, yeah, they're they're saving two damage on their side, but I don't know. All right, I'm gonna play this Harbinger and get rid of the Swiss Spear, and then next turn maybe play Lord. I don't know. I don't know. Depending on what they do next turn, you know, if I can dispel something, maybe. It's just it's very dependent on what they do. You know, I don't have spreading seas this game. I'm not not able to cut out all of their resources. <laughs> oh yeah, scientists, I agree with you on the sharpshooter, man. I, I like the I like that art. Fish cast, I mean Alright. I guess I should probably not be so uh abrasive about my opinions. I don't know. I just think things like that are just egregious they're terrible although it is it is a little bit better than uh, than that promo art that's that's egregious so they're gonna bring that thing at me for one now it can it's certainly gonna turn into more so obviously we're gonna block and they're going to play some kind of spell. And I'm going to probably try to counter it. They're targeting me. Alright. I'll dispel it. I don't really want to because I feel like they have a Boros Charm. But. Ah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just don't want to take all that damage. It's like, it's just so much damage either way. It just doesn't matter. If I can just play two lords and live through this, that'd be great. Play two lords and then slam master next turn, and I think we'd be in a pretty decent position. But I don't know. They get you know they're gonna have a lot of a lot of power on the board. Now I'm fine to lose one of my lords to blocking, but not really keen on losing both of them. They got two cards left in their hand after dropping the land. Hopefully that's, you know, hopefully one of them is a land. <laughs> oh, what's up, Yeti? Uh, Retort not doing so well this, this game or this round, this league. Um, you know, I haven't, I've had to use it as a cancel. I haven't been able to, I had to cast it for three one, one game, but it felt totally great. Uh... Otherwise, I haven't really seen it very much. And I did sideboard it out in this match, and I sideboarded it out in Infect. So, two of the matches, you know, we didn't really see them, game two and three. Another Lord, huh? That is so much power. Oh my god. Ah! Master of Waves is just screaming at me right now, but also so is Path to Exile. Um, but if they pa have Path to Exile, screw it. That's a, that's not a burn spell, right? So <laughs> anything that's not a burn spell, I am okay with. 
All right. Now we are on on the board here. I think they might be quitting. No, they're not. Okay. Really hoping they don't block and cast a bunch of spells. Yes, it does. You are exactly right, Fishcast. It does keep it out of Anger of the Gods range and um, and Bolt range. But I'm not too worried about losing my Lord right now. Unless unless they block and cast you know two spells to kill my creatures. And like, Pat the Master, block the Lord, and then, oh shit, here they go. Okay. I'm just expecting too much out of my opponent, I guess. I don't know. I'm always expecting the worst, and you know, when the worst doesn't happen, I, I get kind of surprised. Skullcrack, huh? Alright, well, bring me to six. You have one card in your hand. And you'll have two during your turn. I hope they're just not both fucking lightning or lightning things, lava spikes and lightning bolts and shit. I hope that's just nothing. And you quit. Just quit. You're dead. Please quit and die. Please. Okay. I <laughs> uh, just. All right. We're two and two. Moving right along. Trying to get three and two here. Yeah, infinite blockers, man. Minus, you know, Sands of Path. You know, infinite blockers. That that Swift Spear was going to be staring down a whole bunch of watery horses. Whole bunch of watery horses. Thank y'all for joining me. Everybody's here. I mean, good lord. You guys are regular. Thank you very much for coming in here. Let's see. Is this up to date? What's going on here? Okay. I don't think that's up to date, but whatever. Yeah, it says 55 minutes. And My computer is so slow. My computer is so slow. But one day it'll get better. All right. Pretty strong hand here, if you ask me. Pretty strong hand here. Uh. Uh oh. Is this Grixis Death Shadow? Thinking so. They burn themselves. They've done five damage in one turn. This is most likely Grix's Death Shadow. They'll probably take uh, either Spreading Seeds or Aether Vial here. I doubt they're going to take any of the creatures. Yep, taking that time to write down my hand. Uh huh. You know, normal people just kind of copy the hand and move it over. Or, you know, whatever. Actually, doesn't it go into the revealed pile? I think it would show up, like, right here. After they pick the card. So they can, they can just do it through the game. Okay, whatever, man. Please, take forever and waste my time with a thought seize. Uh-huh. You know, I mean, it's not... It's not difficult. You have a whole bunch of removal, so you don't pick the creatures. You got a whole bunch of blue mana, so you don't pick spreading seas. Aether Vial's the pick. Okay, so they took a lord. I don't know what they're thinking. Whatever. I guess Grixis Death Shadow they they're you know, they got the damn Coligan's command, so 
in that regard. They want to have only one lord, and you know they don't really care about the Aether Vial, so maybe that's the mindset there. Thoughts, Gower. Yep, yep. Oh, so this is just—is this just Grixis Delver? Because Delver just went into the grave, and Gurmag Angler just came out. Okay. Yeah. So this—I guess this, I don't know what this is. I don't know if Death Shadow, or, you know, is in this or not. Um, but I got to hold up for Trickster here because I am on a four-turn clock. Oh, dollars to donuts, Cole against command. Oh no, okay. I mean, this league has been fun either way. It's just that I didn't really see Retort. Like, last match, or last league, um, I saw Retort a lot, so I got to, you know, interact with it and actually see all the different times that it would be good and maybe some of them that weren't so good. And um, and it was it was great. Last league, it was, it was pretty fantastic. This one, it's not been fantastic, but it's not like it's been slowing me down. It's just not doing well. All right, so whatever. I'll take five damage. Screw it. They got... Yeah, this is Death Shadow. All right, so this is where Trickster actually uh, turns Death Shadow into a 13-13. So you don't want to wait till it attacks with Trickster. You want to, you know, do it during the beginning of the, unki un the beginning of the combat step. It's one of the few that you really need to think hard about. I'm going to cut their red off. And I can play Curse Catcher. And then Trickster. The, sh the Well, I guess the fish. During the combat step. Naturally, they got more red mana. All right. Naturally. Oh yeah, that seems uh, that seems good. Sets you up for another fish. Yeah, their fish is a little scarier than our fish. Uh, that's a that's a little bit scarier than anything we have. All right, we doing it this time. Tapping down the big guy. Well, they're both five fives at this point. Okay. Go to ten. Hope that I can just draw another lord and crush your face in. What are you doing? You're going to six. You're going to die if I play a lord. Okay. Cool. I think they knew that anyway. I think they knew. Oh, yeah. They knew I had the other lord in my hand. Duh. Yep. So relic is really good. Graft Digger's Cage is not not the best. Cause you can't like you can't stop Delve. Um you know? So Relic is good for sure. Um, negate's pretty strong. Dispels are strong. They seem to have a good amount of uh, removal. So I think maybe like for that reason I can cut like two retorts and bring in the the counter spells I have. Or maybe I can cut the dispels and bring in the kapalas. Because they, they, they seem pretty good against removal heavy decks. Master of Waves will be pretty good. Spreading Seas is pretty solid. Maybe we can cut one Spreading Seas. Alright, I'm cool to cut the Mist Callers and one Spreading Seas. I think that's cool. 
So then we got we only got three counter spells in the whole deck, and then plus the curse catchers, two retorts and one negate. No dispels. Dispels seem good, but I'd, I'd much rather have more creatures in there, just more threats and and like you know just be able to play more stuff. Shit, I should have sideboarded lands in. Nobody sent me the memo. What happened? I don't know. I've been pretty lucky this this league. I haven't really had to mulligan very often. First first game last night, I had to mull to four. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you. Thought seize. Do 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 do. Thought seize. Going to 15 again. Yep, yep. Got two lords. Maybe they'll pick one there this time again, too. That'll show me actually what their approach is. If they pick another lord, yeah, yeah, okay. I guess that's what they're trying to do. Because they know I'm just going to keep ripping lords like the champion of the world. That's what they know. I'm just glad this isn't Jund and Ma Maelstrom Pulse. I was calling, I was calling shots against Jund all night during the match last night. It's like, oh, I hope they don't have pulse from my three Lords of Atlantises after they made my discard my other one Lord. Jerks. Jerks. All right. Well, they got two discard spells. That's pretty good. But they missed a land drop. That is crucial. They had faith in their deck when they lost. Mm, that's 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 having a lot of faith in your deck. Normally, I don't, I don't have faith like that on a one-land hand on in any deck. Unless it's like Charbelter or something. Uh, if I lose game one, nah, nah, nah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aggressively mulligan down to six. And make sure things are a little better. Ooh. Hi, Cavern. How are you today? On this beautiful, beautiful day. Play this here, Relic. Uh, I doubt they'd want to sacrifice their their uh, delvers, but I'm also not really trying to trying to test them either. Hoping they don't flip here, because that's going to be pretty terrible. Okay, okay, getting lucky here, getting lucky. Ooh, thought scouring two lands off the top of their library. And flipping a bug. Respect. I respect you, Booker Man. Who doggy. Not really sure why I didn't exile the graveyard there, but... Damn. I was not expecting that off of the Thought Scour. I thought that was going to be exclusively for flipping the creature. Holy jeez. Color me embarrassed. Uh, yeah, I guess I could have played the trickster and made it lose flying and blocked there. So, in that regard, I'll just draw a card. Oh, well. All right. Let's get a redraw and hope it's not another land. Hooray, it's not another land. <laughs> All right, so they can't counter anything right now. I'm just going to play that and I can play the trickster uncounterable next turn. And then the follow, well then during my next turn uh, Kapawa's probably going to come out, depending on whether or not I draw something else that's better. They go to 10. Now, I am at 17. I feel like maybe I can bring down one of these aberrations. Don't get greedy. Got greedy. <laughs> I wish I had seen the chat, man. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I just, I didn't think. I thought that was going to be exclusively 
a thought scour, like a like a what is it, like a desperation sc thought scour. But no, it it was not. All right, I'm gonna kill one of these bugs, just out of principle, because last time I didn't do it right. All right, lose flying. I mean, it still kills the trickster, but um, I can do three, six, eight. I can almost kill him next turn. Nah, man. Nah, man. Everybody yelled at me when I didn't do it in the and when I did do it in the begin combat step. Shit. Um. I can take 11 here and go to 6. I'm I'm going to get I'm going to get real greedy with it here and hope I can get a draw lord. I'm going to get real greedy with it here. Cuz if I draw a lord and play Kapala, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh, come on. Of course you have that shit. Damn it. And of course I draw the other lord, but at least I was greedy when it needed to be good. I was greedy when it was good, I guess. But they can kill me now. Fuck, that was a terrible play. Why didn't I block? Oh, they even have Dismember in their hand for the Trickster. What a jerk. What a jerk. Yep, that's the end of that one. I mean, I got a Lord, but I'm sorry, y'all. That was misplayed. I, did, I, I feel like I'm not exactly sure what I did there outside of not exiling their graveyard at a correct time. Um, that was probably the biggest misplay, but... that. Oh, I thought I lost the match there. Okay, well, that's fine. That was only game two. That's right. Okay. Shit, that was terrible, man. Alright, at least I get another try. Dispels, they seem to be needed. Retorts could probably come out. Um, I'm fine to cut one more Spreading Seas, so there will be two left and a Vile. Because I'd like to have as many creatures as possible. I think that's good. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, I know. I know some people love having uh, Spanish versions of Inquisition of Kozilek because they can be all cool and be like, Spanish Inquisition. Well, damn. Do I want to have faith? Do I feel lucky, punk? Do I? No, I don't. Ah. Give me a land on top for at least, uh, yeah. Ah, it's still not the best, man. But it's something. That wasn't good. I'm gonna try and thought seize me here. Yep. Well, I guess Inquisition's better for them to play. I mean, you know, they would have taken the Lord there for sure. And I'm just sitting here. Like a duck. I cut the missed caller. I already did. I 
No, it's not chat delays, fish, ta fish cast, man. I'm just not looking at it when I when I should be, you know. That's uh, I, I'm trying here, man. I'm trying. I mean, retort's terrible right here. That's because I'm not getting what I need. Hmm. All right. My graveyard's full for a for a fish. Street Wraith, yep. I guess they didn't have a land. Okay. God damn. I mean, come on. What's going on here, man? First match, all I could get was islands. All I could see were lands. I felt like a pirate every turn. It land ho! Oh. This game, I'm like fucking floating out in the in the waters, and there are no damn islands anywhere. I'm just waiting the water, just sitting here losing in the water. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. Burn must be a really fun matchup <laughs> for this. I bet they're just like, well, oh, you're doing three quarters of the work for me. Oh, you're at seven? Boom, boom, boom. Good night, Sally. <laughs> I bet Burn just wrecks Grix's Death Shadow. Literally, Burn just has to sit there for with seven cards for like four turns while they, you know, bring themselves to five. <laughs> and then they're just like, oh, okay, cool. I win. Getting stuck behind the old magical eight ball. Yeah, you're damn right I do, man. Yeah, do you know I need a, I need a rig with two monitors, man. I, you know, I just, I, I just need to get a, a crappy monitor and hook it up to the computer. And even then it'd still be an issue. Um, I'm done with this. This is just moving right along with my life. Um, yeah, we, you know, this league wasn't the best. Um, two and three result. I, you know, I didn't play the game, the fifth match well, obviously, as I was kind of salty about it. Um, got just totally owned by the other two matches, uh, the burn deck and whatever the hell that other one was in the first round where they just completely railed us. And uh, then I got not so much, not really a freebie, but it was a little bit easier matchup than in the second match against the Goblin Charbelcher deck. Uh, but, bam, that was a rough one, man. That's going to be, that's that's probably going to be Pincushion League number two. I was just catching it from all angles there. It was just bad. It was just bad. Um... All right, what is got people? So well, we're not playing Twitch. I know that damn much. All right. Wizards retort. Probably gonna need another league with you to actually get a a full verdict. 
Um, I think I like the the. I, I refuse to call them swole folk. Uh, the Simic Merfolk. So, <coughs> let's see. So I changed it up a little bit from I think when I when I did a league with it. I, le I learned that some of the people that play blue green merfolk actually um, play with 19 lands, and I was playing with 20. So I went down to, and some of them actually play with 18 lands. I think Rothgar 13 actually plays with uh, only 18 lands. So I go with I went with 19, and I've got three pierces, and then you know four of just about everything else, two harbingers, and was it 16 lords? Yeah, the two traditionals, the new one, and the and the regery. 16 lords, four C's, four adepts. Pretty simple. All the removal inside. Got a Kira in the side. I'm not really sure why. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. We got 30 creatures in the main. What else do we need? Um, what am I looking for? I don't know. Tempest Caller? We're going to put a Tempest Caller in there? No. Uh, probably just another Unified Will. That'll work. Yeah. Oh, you want to do... Fish guys, you want you want to do mono blue or you want to do uh, you want to do you want to do simic man? Because uh, seems like I think you're the, you're the only one watching right now. Um, I don't really care either way. I can play that or I can play this where I've got um, four spell pierce in the main and the dismembers in the main, masters and regeries and. Tricksters and Harbingers, oh my. This is the OG blue, that's what I call it. Um, I like to have my little signature, my signature spell snares. Um, got a, let's see, what is it, a six, a seven counter package in the sideboard with four pierces to back them up. I'm, I'm fine with that. 26 creatures in the main, that's kind of weird. I think, uh... Is there something I could do here? Hmm. Um, Miss Caller's not really the best. I could throw a third Harbinger in and just cut a spell pierce. Wait a second. They're right here. Um, uh, alright, so we'll just, we'll, we'll throw a third Harbinger in cut the spell pierce and make those tide binders because the tide binders are actually pretty good saw a lot of red and green it's always good to have creatures in your sideboard all right we're gonna do some mono blue encore matches with no wizards retort just gonna see how long the old computer can handle it here <laughs> Computer kind of started slowing down after the league uh, last time, so could only really finish that one match. And I wanted to play a second one, but my computer no let me. I could have been, I could have done it, but it would have been just terrible, terrible content. It would have taken me you know, 45 minutes to play one game because it was, I mean, it was like this. It was just like I just joined the game like 30 seconds ago and. Uh, Okay. I mean, really? Alright, whatever. Really? Alright. Main deck, ley line of the void. <laughs> Methinks you're scared of Bridgevine. Really? 
No land. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just those times, you know, especially since now we can scry. I, I hate to, you know, take the one land hand. Oh, we're playing against Bridgevine. Why the hell are they Wayline main decked? Land. Not the land I wanted. I mean, seriously, not the land I wanted. What the hell is wrong with you? Deck. Get your shit together. I'm not going to attack for the Muta Vault because A, well, I guess they couldn't uh, they couldn't remove it, but they want these suppliers to go to the graveyard. They want them to, to die. So they can mill three more cards and get more Venge Vines and stuff in the graveyard. Dismember is going to be pretty terrible against this deck. Taken two. And casting two Grave Crawlers. Fantastic. Fantastic. Where's the blue land? Where's the beef? Where's the beef? I mean, seriously. What the fuck? Oh, give me some beef, Adept. Come on now. You know you got me. Come on. I was going to say, we've always been pals, but not like that. Not when you're doing stuff like that to me. Jeez, 10 cards, no islands? Jeez, this is just abysmal. Well, last night I played against Bridgevine in the Encore match. Maybe this will be their revenge. Because I beat the shit out of them with this Wizards Retort deck last night. That was hilarious. I mean, I could block the Stitchers, I guess. Yeah, I probably could have done that. I just hit F6. Whatever. <laughs> this is so stupid. You're kidding me. Uh, okay, good call. Good call. Man, that's uh, that's really going out of your way to play ley lines just so they can save their bridges. That's that's pretty expensive money wise. Ah, damn it! I keep not activating the muta vaults. Okay. Wow. They got like a terrible hand and still beat me. What the hell is this? Hanger back for two, eh? I do have a Reedry. <laughs> okay, whatever. I I'm so over this game. Fuck this game. This game did not happen. Next game is game one. Just like that first match. We only played four matches in that league, right? Yeah, we went three and one. Fuck them. Guard, darn it. Man. People gotta have all these good cards and shit. I don't understand it. Echoing Truth and Graveyard Hate is... Pretty much all I got here. I think Master Waves is pretty slow. What do you think here, Cody? Um, you think Master Waves is worth playing? Yeah, Relic for sure, yeah. Graph Digger's Cage for sure. Spell Pierces are, are good. Um, Spreading Seas may not be the best... Harbinger's not the best either. We can probably cut the Harbingers. Or maybe just two of them. Because Trickster's still really good. 
Oh, yeah, these dismembers are just shit. That's right. Maybe we can bring out the one Harbinger here and bring it into gate. Oh, you'd say Master's worth it? Keep Vile and cut what now? Cut Harbinger, you'd say? Okay. I'm cool with that, and we can bring in at least two Master Waves. And Spreading Seas, maybe cut one Spreading Seas and bring in the third Master. I think it's fine to cut one Master. Ugh. Cutting it close, I mean, I'm at 23 creatures. That did cut a lot of creatures out. Harbingers and a Master. Damn. I hate seeing 23. I hate seeing anything below 24, but... So goes the game. Still no islands. I'm pretty sure they're in the deck. Pretty sure they're in the deck. Um. Yeah, I'm fine to play Vault here. I was thinking maybe I could play Cavern and then get an island and play a Lord, but... I'd much rather be able to spell pierce something. Ooh, Vengevine, you are you are active, buddy. You are active. Well, we're gonna make it look like I have a terrible hand again. Which I kinda do, but not nearly as bad as last game. Really wish I had Curse Catcher here. If this was a Curse Catcher, woo doggy. Oh no, do you have some other creature to play? Because that's going to suck. No, you don't. No, you don't. Bad opponent. Bad. Eight power on turn two. That's what the that's what this deck does. God damn. Well, this is revenge for last night. Ooh, third mutavolt. I didn't know you could stink so hard, Merfolk. Stinky, stinky fish. I think this merfolk deck came from Florida or something. All that red algae and shit, man. My fish are dying. Ugh. Ugh, it's so bad. This deck has got a lot of good synergy. Like, if it just discards a bridge, like, turn one, the way that this is worded, it's crazy. They, they discard the bridge, then the trigger happens, they get a zombie after they sacrifice the creature, then they get to draw a card. That's just incredible. All for one mana. <coughs> oh, Trickster of Vengevine. Actually thinking about it. That's interesting. Wow. Uh, okay, I'll take it. An Island. Well, that's an that's that is an Island, but do I do I care? Sure. Uh, I 
think I can do a pretty hard alpha swing if they bring everything at me next turn. So maybe I should have played the Muta Vault there, but whatever. Because I can do a lot of stuff next turn. Considering I'd draw something else, that'd be sweet if I draw another fat creature I can play. Alright, so they're going to put more stuff in their graveyard. Destructive Revelry. Alright. No interruption here. Okay. Oh, they're still holding off. Interesting. Definitely playing a lure here. I mean, they would still kill my stuff if they... I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't gonna say nothing. Alright. Um, well... I think it's time to... Well... Do I want to start putting pressure on them? Because the Mutavolts are going to be 4-4s. Vengevines are going to be able to block. They got four cards in their hand. I think they're really waiting for me to attack, while I'm also waiting for them to attack. Because if I attack, then they'll be able to kill two of my Lords, and, um, or at least Trickster and a Mutavolt, and be ahead on creatures, and then they can actually you know, bring some heat at me. Blasphemous act. Blasphemous act. <laughs> Jeez. What a fucking blowout. Oh my god. <laughs> what a fucking blowout, man. Oh, wow. That is hysterical. Holy shit, man. Oh my god. That is just absurd. Fucking blasphemous act. That that is blasphemous. That is an act of blaspheme. Man. People are poopy. Jeez, I don't know if I'm even going to post this video, because this... <laughs> oh, man, this is dub two and four so far. This is terrible. Beginning to rethink how good of a merfolk player I am. Holy jeez. That is out of control. I don't even know if I have anybody left after that after that blow up. That was uh That was pretty bad. Yep. That was pretty bad. All right. What is this shit? Dark Steel. I have never seen this card. Okay. Oh, 
Christ. Some other combo deck. War of Invention for a bunch. What the fuck is this? Alright. I have no idea what I'm playing against. Oh, thank you, Fish Cash. This ain't the best stream in the world, but hey, we still swimming. We still swimming. Ah, damn. I don't even know any. What is this, like a standard deck with some mox opals? <laughs> what is this, servos tokens? Alright, so they're going to have some kind of sack engine. Yeah, this is going to be the Thopter Foundry deck, I guess, with just a bunch of weird cards. Jeez. Alright. This kind of stuff scares me, man. Like, I just don't know. Just don't know now. I mean, kind of wanted to block with that 2 2. That one definitely seems like a big part of their deck. Springleaf drum. Okay. You got the Doctor Foundry? No. They're just gonna equip and bring a two three mirror dude at me. What's the actual name of this card? A mere moon vessel. I really I just, that one snuck under my radar all these years. I I used to be a pretty good uh Magic Encyclopedia, I used to know all the cards, man, but that was right around when I first quit Magic the first time around. Just like any other good Magic player, you've quit three or four times. Luckily, they have an island, so I guess I can be happy about that. I'm going to keep this island uh, untapped. And bring as much as I can at him. Now, if I could have activated the other vault and it was lethal, then I would have done that. But it's not, so I didn't. Go to nine. And if they play no land or any other way to get mana, shit, which they did... I could have spell pierced the Thopter Foundry that they most likely have, but mm, little less likely now. All right, come on, what you got? Nothing. All right, cool. That's good. That's good. We like it like that. We like our opponent playing these terrible cards. Uh, they have something weird. I don't know what it is. But I'm just going to do this here number and hope that it works out. Please just tap three mana and not two. Oh, it's cryptic? What the hell's going on here? War of Invention? Something that's an instant that I can counter. Okay. Sit down.
Because Daddy needs a win here. <laughs> Daddy needs to go three and four. The old Merfolk Daddy. Alright, well. <laughs> Black Blue Artifacts. Uh, yeah. So, like, Spell Pierces are pretty good. I don't know if Disdainful Stroke will be very good. I don't know if they have Cryptic or anything like that. I think Negate will be good. Cut two spreading seas because they're already blue. Huh. Oh, yeah. Spell snare will be good here. I'm going to cut the seas all together. Yeah, I think cutting the seas all together and then maybe one truth is good because they probably will have the Thopter Foundry combo. Um, I feel like maybe cutting a Ridgery or a Master or a Vile for the other truth. Yeah. Cool with that. Okay. This is doable. Okay. Hopefully I can counter one of their big combo pieces here. Mr. Land Rob? Doubtful. Yeah. Don't you be like that, opponent. It's not like I'm that bad of a player. Come on now. Come on now. What you got that cost two that I want to get rid of? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that's sufficiently scary enough. Yeah. Damn, totally forgot about Grinding Station. That is... So this is like a blue... Is this a mill deck? An artifact mill deck? I don't... I, I, I don't know. Totally should have Harbinger the, the, the Memnite there. Hands down. I don't know if they could cast it next turn, though. I don't think they have the right mana. Oh, they did have the right mana. What the hell is this thing? Oh, this thing costs five? Okay. I'm going to make him cast it again next turn. <laughs> I'm going to trickster it, and then I'm going to bounce it to their hand. Harbinger, I choose you to give me a time walk. Oh boy.
Hopefully they just have stone nothing. Hopefully they just have nothing. Give it to me, you have nothing. Just give it up. Yeah, you do. Sly Requisitioner. It's a good name. Another spell snare. Alright, alright. Ooh, they already have islands. Look at me. I'm a good magic player. Look at me, look at me. I know how to walk over islands. It's one of the oldest mechanics in magic, but it works, man. I love it. What is this garbage? What is this cabbage? I'm not echoing truth it. Screw you, dude. Maybe you can block it with one of your sly requisitioner, but... You ain't got no hand, man. So, oh, I see, said the blind man. Alright. So every time they lose an artifact creature, they basically just get to replace it because it's a servo token. So that's why this thing's in here. It's, it's essentially a free mana. Okay. Okay. I see what you're trying to lay down here. Or what is it? I'm, I'm picking up what you're laying down. That's what the cool people used to say in high school, right? Yeah. We'll go with that. And we'll also go with attacking them for eight. And bring in the heat. Bum, 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 bum. They have no hand. That's the reason why I'm getting greedy. And Spell Snare is so uh, narrow. Not really against this deck uh, specifically. That's why I brought it in. But it's narrow against like one card that they're drawing. So it's much more of a chance that I just win. And that's the end of that one. Buddy, buddy, buddy. That's all, folks. I'll be able to stream tomorrow night. Um, but I will be going out of town for probably like two weeks. I'm going home to Richmond and I'm going to be spending some time with my parents and then uh, playing in the GP in Richmond. And, uh, you know, probably going to play Burn or uh, Mono Red Storm. That's all I can afford. I don't have Legacy Merfolk. But, uh, yeah, again, thank you all very much. Fiscast, good night, everybody. Good night.